how we can make an animal when it bites like this it is biting something that will make it very helpful so that they don't keep on feeding on this then feeding on that then you're feeding on this and the other side or something okay so what we do first of all we want to reconstitute the moisture content of this to bring it to a moisture content that the microbes will degrade and break down more effectively okay we came with a product called molar plus livestock microbes that i think he wants to he wants to to demonstrate on how he wants to show you how that will break down this and turn this thing into very very palatable stuff so that when a cow takes it doesn't pass through the system and digest it. A cow will take this, it will break down and access the energy that is locked inside here, the protein that is locked up inside here, the minerals that are locked up inside here, and, the, and then break down the fiber such that the fiber becomes useful as opposed to the kind of fiber that will pass through the system and digest it. Okay? What we are going to do is we want to assist the animal to get the nutritional values that are inside here. How do we do it? We do what we call predigestion. We predigest. We digest it ahead of the cows using it. Okay. And normally, the most important and the most critical thing to know and to do is that you need to understand that a cow is called a ruminant because it has a ru, a rumen. A cow is called a ruminant because it has a rumen. And the purpose of a rumen is to ferment, is to digest. First of all, whatever a cow takes, it has to first of all ferment before a cow can get the energy in it, the protein in it, the minerals in it, the trace elements in it, Otherwise, it can't get the energy in this, it can't get the trace elements in this, it can't get the minerals in this, unless it has fermented. So what a cow takes, it takes between 20 and 40 hours inside the rumen, first of all, fermenting. After it has fermented for between 20 and 40 hours, it will now take another 36 or so hours doing what? Extracting, removing the energy from what has fermented, the protein from what has fermented, the minerals from what has fermented. Those are, it will do that for about 30 something hours. Mm -hmm. Now what remains, what comes out is now the residue. And that residue, and that residue is actually what comes out as cow dung okay so we are saying without assisting the cow most of this will form cow dung but by assisting the cow most of this will be utilized and only a, a portion of it will come out as cow dung now we can make silage just from this we can ensile this using molar plus livestock microbes and achieve it but when we have this and we have this we even can make a very interesting product because we will have to find a way of mixing the two so that when a cow takes it will actually be able to break down and utilize it even more interesting so if we want to add value to this we'll, we'll predigest by turning it into silage using microbes but when we have this mix them together we even have a better pro product and it will be more nutritious. Now, the problem that I can tell you have, Bana, uh, Christine, on your farm is your equipment, the machine that is chopping this, this is too big. Mm -hmm. You see, this is chopped or, 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 or um, this is uh, this is chopped or milled, but this is again too big for proper digestion. Mm -hmm. uh, for proper, uh, pre you see, a cow should not struggle to first of all pick and then reorganize this and then swallow. Particles should be between uh, a quarter an inch, an inch at most, or three quarters of an inch. 
this would be a big a big piece so you need to really finally you will do better to get to a point where you either adjust the blades of your chopper or find a chopper that more, more or less uh, gets closer to milling than just chopping and this milling and chopping is not a kind of milling you see uh, uh, let me you see if you could get close to this this is even far much better mm -hmm. it's a bit better because then the bites can be bite like you see they can be bites that don't need a lot of reorganizing before cow mm -hmm. takes that really helps with rumination because there must be churning and mixing with saliva and all that to achieve the best so what we want to do we want to first of all reconstitute this by dipping it in water after we have dipped in water for about a minute we will remove i don't know whether we can get a tarpaulin get us a tarpaulin or from the side yeah or even just a, a small paper yes because it's big you have yes much that would be better once and for all <laughs> yes yeah exactly yeah. so we will dip this in water mm -hmm. after we have dipped it in water we want it to soak in a bit of water mm -hmm. to reconstitute the moisture content mm -hmm. and give the microbes an opportunity to start breaking in and destroying the lignin feeding on the lignin now when they destroy it they make it more palatable mm -hmm. and they also make it accessible uh, they, they release the nutrients that are locked up yeah. so I want somebody to we, we will start by just move it here move it here please yeah. so let us start by first of all soaking this dipping this into water and we put it there it takes like a minute inside we put it there a minute we put it there yeah and now we have to put it in just to move some water too yeah reduce the water okay put in there now do you have some molasses on the farm Mm. No. Okay, no problem. Dip, the, dip them inside. Pass the dip. Mm -hmm. More water? No, no, no. This way. This move. We want to move. put more of this. No, it's okay. Just turn, turn this. Okay. You move. Put on the top of it. So we can just put it there. Put it on the top of it. So put there until the whole of that is done. So then we can do the division. So then we move to double down. So okay. Right, soak it in. So then we can move now. So that's what we can do. Wait. This is a bowl of it. I bet you want to drink it, eh? Well, assume, let us just assume this is it. Just put it there. We don't need even to put more. Just leave this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, what we have achieved here, we have tried to introduce moisture. It will continue soaking through uh, osmosis and uh, it will still, yeah, it will continue soaking itself inside mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now uh take bring that grass yes now mix this put the here now we want to mix green and green and we are mixing green and what and dry, and dry that has been soaked mm -hmm. should be some proportion 
it doesn't matter it depends on what you want what you have most uh -huh. yes and what you just put on the whole of it it depends on what you can get more most okay. mix mix in such a manner that it is like it's mixing Fine. properly yeah it's well mixed homogenic homogenically mixed Recommend, we would recommend that you take some meal number three. Okay. Meal number three. You, but because we don't have meal number three here, we have this that is like a complete meal. Mm -hmm. uh, in Kenya, we call it dairy meal. Okay. You, we, uh, we, we, you can take some hand chicken. Yeah, put here. Take more as you mix. You put more? Yeah, put more. You can put more if you have more. But depending on what you have. Okay? Yeah, this would be enough for that. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. But when you are doing like uh, if you have meal number three, mm -hmm. that would have been very good. Okay? You get? Mm -hmm. Meal number three would have given you a very good result with this. So you, meal number three, this is in maize program. Uh, or even bran. Yeah, bran would be wonderful. Maize even. Brand. It maize would brand. be cheaper yeah. for you. Okay. You so get? you mix maize bran. You mix maize bran. The way we are mixing. The way you are mixing this. Okay. okay? Then if we had tried it. Sorry, no. molasses. If you had molasses, mm -hmm. you would have taken a uh, molar plus livestock microbes. Get me that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have something to measure a liter? You would have taken this product, molar plus livestock micro, one liter, mm -hmm. one liter, and two liters molasses. How many liters molasses? Two liters. Two liters molasses. And 20 liters of water. Of water. Don't worry about it. I'll explain to you. 20 okay. liters of what? Of water. I'm actually recording so I can share the recording with you. Yes. So after you have done that mixture, like now we must still put it here. So we will assume that you don't have molasses. But if you have wheat br maize bran here or wheat bran, which is cheaper for you here? Maize bran. Maize bran is cheaper than... We need to find out which bran is cheaper. Wheat bran is cheaper. Oh, oh. Yeah, and wheat, wheat bran would be do much better. In this mix. In this mix. Oh. Yes. Okay. So you take what you have done this for the dairy meal or the or, or the complete meal would have been which would have been uh, would have been wheat bran. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you take let us take a, a glass of uh, molar plus like of microbes. No, no, no. Yeah, just it's even use that. <laughs> yeah. Something like two hundred ml. Uh, take it here. Put it from here. Yeah, we, we just like 200 ml. Yeah, 200 ml. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay.
20 liters. Assume it is 20 liters. No, maybe, maybe 17 liters. Yeah. No, but this is supposed to be 20 liters. Tons, tie it up. Now, do you have a watering can here? You don't have a watering can. If you have a watering can, you put this in a watering can okay. and sprinkle on this. Okay. If you have a watering can. Okay. If you don't have a watering can and you have a, a, sprayer. a sprayer that doesn't have chemicals, okay. it should not have chemicals at all. Yeah. You yeah. Have Now, this if this is 20 liters, okay. if this being 20 liters, it will make for you a ton of this. Okay. 20 liters will make for you a ton. a ton. 20 liters of water, the 200 ml. No, the one liter, sorry. This, 20 liters, you're supposed to put one liter. So we are supposed to put more. more yeah, more in this. 20 liters. The other one was a measurement what we are going to do to the get it there. Yeah, but for 20 liters, add here. Add a little bit. So that we fill it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is very yeah. Yes, yes. Let us top this. Top it up to around maybe liter. The water? The water. Yeah, we'll top up the water, but we also want to put this. To this, make this was the more like 200 so yeah, we 200. need to add what 700 fill, this is enough you just fill it here oh, okay okay yeah fill it here to make the okay. yeah fill it here now one liter molar plus life coach micro goes to 20 liters. goes to 20 liters of water and makes one ton oh, of, of yeah. that feed in Kenya you make 10 shillings equivalent when you use livestock microbes it's about 10 shillings per cow per day the economies here are just amazing mm. you get now this is supposed to make feed that is full on a pickup this this one yeah the 20 liters here oh you want to put that in what okay how do we so measure this stuff some, at one time at some more i've water. just told you a pickup a pickup pick up load of <laughs> meal a one time pickup yes and it is not uh it is not cast in they're supposed to have uh, 20 <laughs> liters so oh, 20, yes, it's supposed to be 20 liters it's like it's a 50 liter 20 no, no. Liter? Is it 25 mm. 25 no, it's yeah, almost 20. Okay. so okay. this is okay already it's almost okay. 20. if you think so yeah now, uh, they are bringing something, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You don't need to work hard. You just need to work hard. For real, yes. You just need to know what you want this, to do. This, yeah. this you can immediately do. Because without digging one, you can get it. You get Number three, maybe it's very easy to find here. Yeah. Now bring it. Now come here with it. Yeah? Now, yeah, just do like this. And then. Let's do the. That is too much. That's too much. But just put it. Yeah? And then you do like this, my brother. If you have drums, 
You see like now this? Yes. You see this one? The, 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 oh, yeah. the yes. This one. Now you compress inside drums like this. Mm. Somebody should you put a finger, you put somebody press the foot, cover, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. And then you put more until it is tightly compressed. Then you put a poly thing on top. But let me show you. A demo is quite you know what is happening is this. Put this stuff in a small container. Check the action. Put and then compress. Compact. Compact. Here? Yeah. Compress. No, no, no. Compress fast. Assume you are actually compressing it in those drums. Tanks. somebody is stepping on it on top on top and moving like that If you had molasses, mm -hmm. you would have taken two liters of that molasses. You would have put here one liter molasses, very molasses, plus less of micro, two liters molasses and 20 liters raw water. Water that okay. doesn't have chemicals. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. In and this mix. In this mix. Now that is what you would have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now put and then cover properly. And then you take a poly thing. There should be no air inside here. Yeah. Then you put a polythene and tie. Okay? For that one, you put a lead first. Then you compress it, and then you can put something heavy on top. Okay? Now, after how many hours? Within, if you put enough mill number three here, within 24 hours, you have your silage ready. 24 hours? Yes, 24 hours. But if you don't have enough, like what we have done, we have not put enough within how many days three. three days it will be super silage when you put it there for cows they will they will concentrate there feed within 40 to 60 minutes they are full they will go there take water and look for a shade look for a I'm insisting on a shed because those animals where they are, they are very stressed. And that you have to attend. Mm -hmm. Because they will need, after they have eaten, they go lie down and eat to cow. When a cow, the first thing, they, the first instinct after eating would be to go and take water. And then the first instinct after they have lied down for a while, chewing cud, the thing that will make them wake up, what will make them wake up? is the urge to go and take water because that water is what is helping them to uh, uh, to ruminate yeah. so they go take water and still come and lie down and to cut then after another three four three or two three hours they will now take water and then they go look again on the feeder during that particular time when you see a good number of them now waking up to go back to the feeder is when now again you take you go and refill the, the trash they go there, they feed on it. After another short time, they will go take water and lie down and chew cow. Take water, lie down and chew cow. Then again, they come and eat. And you watch three, four days, look at your production. The five liters of monoplast, very effective microbes that you have been given here, this will make for you five tons. Of this how many tons five. five tons of this very economical but the difference will surprise him without interfering if you do right okay now as you do this just remember you can use those drums, mm -hmm. you can use those drums. yes 
And if it is not easy for somebody to go inside, to just cut the top. Yes. Oh, at the time of draw, no. we drop it. But <laughs> no. <laughs> just cut the top. On top, we can still get it out again. When when feeding. That's why is it big enough? You know that one. Because you see that way you can't. We can drop it. We can drop mm. the drum. Then you start pulling it out. Because as you was explaining, I was okay. even making there. Mm. You're you're already there. People are pulling with this stuff. And you're stamping already. Yeah. But you so see, you're also going up yes. while you're stamping. Yes. But the problem now, that uh, th that, that mouth, that, that opening, narrow. is narrow, so you can't compress for the time. Mm -hmm. It will save you a lot of money. It will make you really enjoy the fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Small piece will not be the best. Eh? Hmm? Small what? More pit. No, ah, now you have asked a very good question. You don't need a pit to make silo. You can actually just do all your hay and make silo above the ground here. Like uh, the way we, we just put them. Here. Yes. And then I see you have no. Do you have a tractor? Do you have a tractor here? We have. Yeah. Yes. Now you just roll a tractor on top and then put more top. <laughs> and then now you take your polythene, you wrap like that. Then you wrap like this, then you wrap like, first of all you wrap like this, then you wrap like that, you wrap like that, you cover, this is the opening area. Mm -hmm. So you just, yes, now you do like that, but then you remove another one and put under like this. Okay. So that if water rains, it goes like this. So, yeah. Okay. You get it. Okay. Now when you go to feeding your, your animal, you open, scoop, and make sure you swing. Don't leave your silage more than 20, 30 minutes open. Always after immediately you remove. It can be the whole thing very well and grow. Because it should never be exposed to moisture. No, no, it, it, the, the atmosphere. It should always be under air time. And you will love it. What is it where we can make? Not even the shade, just make it like here. Like here. Just the way it is. Just the way it is. As long as you cover it thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And the compacting attractor would work like this, would go like that. Just like move this. on top. This way, this way. This way, and then that way, that way, that way. And then it, so that it removes as much air yeah. as possible. So everything you have there in terms of uh, cover. Everything you have in terms of grass that you can get. I can tell you, just ask young men to go and cut for you green grass like this, even along the road and that, in, in farms like that. Come and let that be put here together. You cut, you cut grass enough for a month, only a day, using a sickle. You know sickle? Yes, yes. Just let them cut. They come, they, they do that. You, you hire labor in a day or two or three. Then you make your silage for an entire month. Then you just be scooping and feeding. Scooping and feeding. Scooping and feeding. Just make sure that you set aside silage making day. Three, four days a month. The rest, animals are just supposed to eat on this. They can now Let them absorb, absorb the moisture. You get it? Yes. And then you will, you, you will address this. Because when the animals are the way they are, there is a problem. Now, two, you will agree with me or not, but the element of stress, nutritional stress, is very evident. Mm -hmm. So even if you are getting milk, you are getting maybe a quarter or a half of what you can get on this farm. Yes, you are recording 700 liters in a day. But that for sure, I can tell you, these animals can give you 3,000 if you address the nutritional factor. After you have achieved this, we can now put our heads together and we advise you. You can even add this and this other one even to make the game much more after you have seen the results that you are achieving with this. And we can advise you until you get to a point where
that actually is able to protect you so much. Now, cows and calves of this caliber cannot access enough minerals from just seed. And that is why you see a lot of browning on the coats. You see rough coats. A cow should, a place that is black should be very black and white should be very white. Uh, the, 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 can we need, the, we need to give this also to the, to this dry cow. Every cow should eat this. Every cow should eat. And now, again, if you want to get into production for business, the, the greatest attention is normally paid on cows. Mm -hmm. And particularly cows that are below three months. That is where you focus attention because that is what will give you the highest benefit. But as long as you neglect them, you will never change your path. Mm -hmm. Your curve will never go up. Because yeah. this is the formation stage of your factory. Yeah. And the best accuracy and fineness should be spent fine tuning your systems. And that is by offering proper curve management. And I've told you for calves, first thing is calf survival. Second thing, you focus on room and development. Now from there, you are now able to achieve. Mm. I would still tell you, spend time, look at the videos on our YouTube. You will be surprised the kind of knowledge you'll get from there. Yeah. Yes.